Hey everyone, so welcome back. In this video, we'll be solving our first cross-site scripting lab on Ports Figure Academy. So let's get started. So this lab contains a simple reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability in the search functionality. And to solve the lab, we need to perform a cross-site scripting attack that calls the alert function. Awesome. So let me just head over to the lab. And here is where we have that vulnerability, right? In the search functionality. Now, whenever I try to find a cross-site scripting vulnerability, the first thing that I'll do is I'll always inject less than symbol along with some text after that so avatar enter and once i get the response i check the source code of the page to check how my input is being reflected on that page so control u to check the source code of the page so control f and check for my input so avatar and as you can see the less than symbol is not being validated by the server at all and that is why the less than symbol in the input has come back as less than symbol in the response so that means that there is a possibility that we can inject an XSS payload which uses just the less than symbol. And if you're aware, we have an SVG XSS payload which uses just the less than symbol, right? So I'll use the same thing here. So instead of less than avatar, what I'll do is I'll use an SVG payload. So less than SVG slash onload equal to alert one, two, three. And I'll do a double slash enter. And as you can see, the SVG payload has been injected on the page successfully nothing is being encoded so this should actually work now let me just remove this view source so that i can go back to the page and see if the alert box is actually working and there you go we got the pop-up box and that should solve this lab so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video